There we go. So to go ahead and talk about the uh, what's going on, Mark Anthony, to talk about the uh, ugly points of 2015, uh, you know, the uh, bad and try to end with the good, you know, focus on the good. So go ahead and bring him in here. Let's see. Howdy ho. I'm starting early. Why not? It's New Year's Eve. <laughs> what the hell? I'm just saying, I'm starting early. Uh, now. Hey, Mark. You know, uh, uh, waiting for the ghetto view. I don't know if she uh, activated her blab yet. Uh, TD Bonus 74, what's going on? Uh, and Nika. Hey. She said that uh, she might be, well, she may or may not join if she's actually catering. So, yeah, yeah we, we might get her. We might not get her. So, I guess while we're waiting on the get of you, I guess between the two of us, we can talk about, I guess, an uh, ugly moment of 2015. Do you want me to start or do you want to start? It's your blab. You start. It's our blab. However, <laughs> I don't have a problem taking ownership of things that belong to me. So, uh, we gonna get you there. We gonna get you there. I said, you know, I'm a selfless individual. Just saying. All right. So my ugly of 2015 would have to be my last six months in Korea. Wish there are good points in the story. So. Uh, Mark Anthony, she like I said, she might be able to join us. I mean, I'm hoping, but I don't know. And my phone's going off too. Lord help me. So <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna jump out. I'm gonna jump back in. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah. So um <clears throat> uh like I said, I mean, I guess with uh two like the last six months of career, like I said, there's good and bad. So you'll get some good, but I mean, well, ugly. There's good and but the ugly. So um uh in uh february i got facility rated being an air traffic controller in a particular facility that i work in so that's mm -hmm. definitely a good thing first time doing radar so i was happy for that but i and i also took over as the uh facility chief of uh actually i'm sorry that was in january i took over as a facility chief in february meaning that i was running the facility over the facility so that's also a good thing the bad thing is uh that uh november we did get a, a gentleman to work with us and by virtue of uh i guess we could say well fuck it virtue of rank he outranked me but by virtue of position i outranked him so you know and even before he got there you know my leadership both the uh overseer of the building and my facility chief have both asked me like do you have a problem with muscles? And I'm just like, uh, no, because I'm trying to figure out like where the fuck is this going? Coming to find out this gentleman is of the Islamic faith, which I really don't care. You know, like I said, I mean, I don't like hopefully saying this doesn't sound too bad, but I mean, I have friends of various faith, religions, cults. It is what it is. Like, I don't care about, you know, what you do. That's really none of my business. Well, this guy uh, is very opinionated, uh, very pushy, loves to push his opinions and everything else off on other people. Um, <clears throat> you know, we were talking, like I said, uh, there was an active shooter incident that happened uh, in Osan, which is like, what, 10 miles to the north of where we were, so about a good 20 minutes away. And <laughs> I don't like people like that either. <laughs> but there was an active shooter incident, and uh, the overseer of the building pretty much came and just like, well, I don't think it was any of us suitors because you know we don't have our we don't get our hands on ammo i'm like well i have to disagree by virtue of one of the additional duties i had not only could i pick up ammo i could store the ammo request it the whole nine but i also ended that with but i would never do something like that well this individual is like oh so you a terrorist huh and that's one of those drop the mic walk away and when he said it like i looked at him like i know damn well you, I, you didn't just call me a terrorist then I looked at everybody else in the room and nobody else reacted. So I'm like, you know what? <clears throat> Y'all real, you're probably just hearing shit. Uh, when the big wigs left, that's when they were like, uh, you know, the other, you know, the ones that are responsible, like, did he just call you a terrorist? 
And this sparked everything. I mean, <clears throat> so there's that. Him um, judging other people for drinking and smoking. Uh, when it came to running the facility, you know, when he was to get raided, it was for him to uh, take over, you know, but he was trying to take over the, uh, like, undermine me in terms of how shit went. And it's one of those where I had to, you know, vote the fuck up on just like, this is my facility. You don't run shit. So nothing doesn't happen unless I give the say. So, like, I don't like acting like that, but it's like, you know, I had to let him know who has big dick and motherfucker, it was me. But when I, but uh, he, but, you know, they made him the overseer, but he was never, oh, snap, she made us around Nikki. And, um, you know, he was supposed to, he was overseer of the building. You know, he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. He wasn't even in the training program. Well, he was in the training program, but not taking tests, not on position, days behind. And they, pr like, pretty much uh, the airfield manager took that from him. So not only am I the facility chief, not only am I working, <laughs> he said that thank you uh so not only am i the facility chief not only am i working eight hours because i'm working eight hours to ensure that everybody can get trained up now i was told that okay well he's no longer overseer so you and the other chief y'all have to start coming to these meetings so i went from working uh eight to sometimes nine hour a day to working 12 to 16 hour days you know, four to five days a week, not to mention I was on call on the weekend. So, and like I said, in the midst of all that and working all the time, like I said, that part right there was the ugly, but also I didn't have time to work out, didn't have time to really cook a lot of my own food. And the little bit of downtime that I did have outside of doing YouTube, I spent a lot of that time uh, eating. <laughs> And like I said, I didn't have time to cook, so you know, I pretty much just ordered out a lot of food because I didn't have time to cook. So, and like I said, that's where the uh, two hundred and seventy-five pounds came from. But, but I mean, it is what it is. But it, it sucked. Like I said, I mean, so many stressful days having to deal with this individual. He and not not getting along. Uh, him filing an equal opportunity complaint against me, you know, over dumb shit like. My last six months of career were fucking horrible. No, I'm not 275 pounds. I was 275 pounds. I'm two. Well, fuck, it's New Year's Eve, so I'll round up. I'm 230 right now. So I'm like 10 pounds away from my initial goal of 220. So just throwing that out there. Of course, this is not going to help, but hey, it's fucking New Year's, right? So that right there was my uh, ugly of uh, 2015. Uh, and you know what? James came back in right on time because now it is his time to give us his uh, ugly moment of 2015. Your turn. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> well, I think everybody probably already knows pretty much what my ugly of 2015 was. Um, yeah, see people with keys to your house to just come to your house and talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> shit about me, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just talk about that? About how people have keys to your house? And you tell, I said, I'm going on Vlad at 3 o'clock. She showed up at 3 o'clock. <laughs> That's my mom. She's shopping. Okay, anyway, back on topic. Okay. So... Hi. Hi, honey. Hello. Okay. Oh, so all right. So my my bad of 2015. I was actually diagnosed with cervical lymph on the 23rd of July. So I actually, and then I started um chemotherapy on the 28th, which is actually my brother's my little brother's birthday. So. That was basically it. The last basically five months of the year, I was actually dealing with cancer and dealing with chemotherapy. Um, and that's pretty much the worst thing that actually happened uh, throughout the year. And it really took up a bunch of the year. But um, I don't know. It's I'm kind of 
I don't feel bad about it because it was what it was. And I just grabbed cancer by her goddamn throat and put that bitch in a headlock and said, let's go. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm doing okay at this point. Um, I'm basically in a position where I'm kind of like in remission and we're watching and then I'm like kind of under surveillance. So we'll know, you know, in February, I'll actually be checked out again to see what's actually going on. It ain't nothing going to be going on. Ain't a damn thing going to be going on. I'll be getting ready to party. I'll take yeah, you I agree with that. Okay. Absolutely. I'm not worried about that. I, and I told y'all not to worry. I still go, my voice goes up and down. I battle with my vocal. But other than that, for the most part, I'm, I'm fine. You know, I have aches and pangs, but so does everybody else. When you get tired, you take a damn nap. That's what you do. <laughs> You know, you lay down. But trust me, I'm going to continue on doing what I'm supposed to do. 2016 is going to roll up in here. And I and I told myself, I'm going to live every day like it's the last day. I'm going to shake my goddamn shimmy. So, <laughs> that was well, you pretty know, much I, that was it. I had other stuff going, but that was the, like, the worst thing. Is well, not I miss your friend. If I, was actually- I do miss your friend, you know, the silver bitch. I do miss her. I don't. I don't. I got rid of her. I had to let her go. I had never dated a girl before, and she was toxic. <laughs> so, and when I got done with her, then I'll go back to boys and I'll stay there. <laughs> hey. Hey. Nikki. hey, y'all. I had to come through real quick. I'm on my break. I'm about to go back to the plantation. I'm mad y'all did this shit at three o'clock. Why y'all can't wait till people get off work? <laughs> That's okay. Well, yeah, y'all really will take care of everything, so you'll be able to to watch. You know, whatever you miss, you'll be able to watch back. He'll he's yeah. gonna take care of it. I I know. I was stalking him on YouTube about it. I'm like, hi, what y'all gonna do with this? Because I'm gonna be missing y'all asses. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be on YouTube. It'll be up. I know, and I'm gonna be back to new YouTube in the um new year. I'm doing the Jumpstart January. James, I love you. Thank you for your support from the beginning. Thank you, Boo, and your oh, mouth. <laughs> Hey, Yarrell, you keep on spilling all that tea, boo, but I got to go back to the plantation now. <laughs> Love you Somebody got to have a job. You go back to the work. <laughs> hey, Jen, I have a question for you. Yes. Are you taking any uh, vitamins or supplements as related to yes. your treatment? You are? Yeah, uh, I have a vitamin D situation that I actually have to do once a week. Right. It's like 50,000 units because right. <laughs> orange just wasn't going to take care of it. Yeah. But um, I'm actually always open to um, other holistic things because I always love that that whole thing because I talk about it, about doing the MLM. Mm-hmm. I was part of an MLM and they did uh, a lot of natural things and, and I loved all that. So I'm always very, very open. So anything you know about that's going to help me stay on the planet, Hit me, send me, okay. send me the, the links or whatever it is. I'm always open to take care of okay. me. Well, I will send you the information, but I'll go ahead and tell you the name of it. Um, it's called ALA. Okay. Which is alpha lipoic acid. And my father had to go through chemo and radiation. And he says that if he had known earlier that that would have saved a lot of his teeth, and some okay. other things, yeah. And then he found out from another doctor that he should have been put on that regimen, but he takes it. And it also helped when we had another family member who had to go through chemo and radiation at the same time. And she didn't have any problems, but it would have saved a lot of his teeth if he knew to take it. Okay. See, and I've been very lucky with side effects and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do, like my, 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 uh, my vision, I suffered some there. Okay. Um, I just got like new glasses, new contacts, and all that because I could visually see that my prescription had changed. I was like, "Wait a minute, bitch, can't see <laughs> what's <is> going on." <laughs> I, was look, I was looking down at my cell phone. And I said, "I know that well." I, and he said, "You know, my um, optometrist." He said, "The thing is," he said, "It just kind of progressed me like two years forward." He said, don't feel too bad because it was going to happen anyway, but it just kind of pushed you two years forward. I was like, well, hold it now because I've been trying to, I've been trying to stay 24. So 
you know, right. I've been 24 for 20 years. You know, if anybody asks, <laughs> I'm 24. Okay. okay. But yeah, so I, I noticed that. And then just there's small things like skin things and things like that. I just looked at a video of mine from the beginning of November. And um, child, I was black as night. I said, <laughs> okay. Like I looked at it and it was like kind of like a gradual thing that my skin had gotten darker. And I didn't yeah. go through radiation. I just did straight chemo. But mm -hmm. child, it cooked my ass real good. I said, when I look back at that video, it's the, the video of the Why Would you's, part one of the why would just i look i said child i was black as night at least i wasn't black and ashy i was black black but <laughs> now i have, <laughs> yeah now i'm actually dealing with my skin is like uh dry my skin is dry but then my regular color is coming back which okay. i was cool with actually being dark but it was just it was like child. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all I was was eyes and teeth, baby. I said, girl, what is really going on? But if that's it, if I got to be black, black and bald headed, I can do black and bald headed. I'm here. Alive. That's right. That's it. <laughs> that's right. All right. Well, you just read my book. Since you are here, why don't you give us uh, what was the, I guess, ugly of 2015 for you? <laughs> oh well actually it was it was pretty good i have i had an instance which was recently um going to my brother's wedding and that's my baby boy it is and um really happy for him and everything but we had a couple of family members that wanted to act up Mm -mm. And they chose me. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I was really trying to behave because I'm the one that made sure that everybody always stays calm and in their right mind and everything. And here I am, the one doling it out, you know. But I mean, it was just so ridiculous. And it, it just got to the point where I just had to let everybody have it. Then I had to let him have it too. And after I got through giving it all to him, I mean, I gave it to him with nasty mouth. <laughs> and everybody's eyes were as big as pie plates and I got through cussing them out and cussing him out and then walked in his house and drank his liquor. <laughs> and sat down, oh, hand me an ashtray. And I sure did. And I sat there and I puffed on that cigarette and I drank that drink and I was just rocking. You know how you get mad. <laughs> I was sitting there just rocking. I had my cup and I puffed and I <laughs> just daring anybody didn't nobody you could have heard a pin drop i had mm. the whole house shut down but everybody got right and then we went on and had a nice thing going on that was the day before the wedding but it was just so ridiculous the stuff that was going on i mean you know and especially you know when you really know that you are being of help and assistance assistance to someone and not only do they not appreciate it, they have something negative to say. I mean, I've got two children, but one of them is grown. So I had the only one I'm looking out for as far as little kids was my youngest daughter. Well, I went to bed with one child and woke up with five. <laughs> Everybody had dropped their kids off and left them and did, I'm like, I got all these little children here with me. Under not even in double digits, okay? Oh. They left all these kids, and then the other one comes out the room and she says, I'm just gonna run up here to the store for a minute. I saw her after it turned dark. <laughs> they left all these children with me and my father. So we got all these kids and we had plans because we were going to go and pick up something else, you know, for the wedding. I'm like, well, we're going to have to take them with us, you know, because these are kids. So we piled all these kids in the car, hoping we don't get stopped for a ticket because there was not enough seat belts to go around. We got all these kids in this car with us and we took them, uh, you know, we went and had breakfast. We took them shopping. We took them to have a little amusement. And I go to the restroom. 
And when I come back, I see my daughter's, my other daughter's face all twisted up. She's on the phone and I hear her say, well, you have to talk to mom about that. So she hands me the phone and it's my brother with a bunch of other mouths in the background just yip yapping, yip yapping, talking about why did you take the kids without permission? Excuse me, I'm sorry, y'all. Hello? Yeah, you know, that's, that's the thing. Um, weddings and funerals will tear a family apart. No, and they're supposed to be well, both are supposed to be happy times, you know, both are celebrations, supposedly. But weddings and funerals will tear a family apart. Well, I mean, I already told you about when I, I almost got into it with my brother's wife. Actually, you know, I did okay, get into it. I'm talking about you. It's a few moments from actually putting my hands on a female, and I normally don't. Well, actually, I don't do shit like that, but you right, you right. I'll continue. But, but I mean, I mean, they really got away with me. They are call and then they're fussing at her. She didn't have anything to do with that. So you know, talk to me. Talk to the person you left all of your children on. You know, asking me why I took the children without permission. Y'all left all these kids in the house with me. Nobody asked me. Hey, would you watch this one? Nobody. Said, listen, we got to run out, uh, or nobody, nobody said anything. I went to bed with one and their great grandfather. And you got a problem because we took, we fed your little rug rats, took them shopping, <laughs> took them <for> amusement, <laughs> you know, doing all of this stuff. And you said, Are you fussing? And then they said, Oh, oh, and then. You could have called us. I said, call you where? I didn't know where you were. Remember, you didn't talk to me and tell me where you were going. I don't know how to reach you. And I mean, they really thought they were going to get there. So when they went, so, so I said, look, we'll talk about this when we get back to the house. So we leave where we're going, which means we cannot continue on our journey because everybody's up in arms. They want their children. So yeah. we go back to the house to take them, their children. And it's like they're standing out in the yard like they're waiting for the car to roll up because they got something to say. That's when I had to go ahead. That's when I let them have, I, I gave it to everybody. Everybody. I talked about, and then they couldn't say nothing because I talked about the mammy too and they couldn't say anything because that's my sister. If you don't like it, tell her, tell them, see me. Your mammy's my sister. What? <laughs> I mean, we're ridiculous. They left the children. What was I supposed to do? Leave the children too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then what would I be? You know, but I mean, it was just crazy. And here I am trying to keep everybody else from cutting up and I'm the one that's showing up. But it got hushed. <laughs> yeah, that's, and like that's I said, wild. I went in there and cracked the seal on his best bottle of liquor and sat down and shook. <laughs> playing. Yeah, that's all. Weddings and funerals. Yeah. I don't understand. I, I just didn't understand. I was really taken aback because I, I was thinking, okay, maybe something else happened. Did something happen that, that, that I don't know about? You know, was there a problem? I, I was really trying to figure out what was going on. But when I realized that this was truly it, that was the reason that I had taken the children without contacting them. I was done. You know, I could have been upset for y'all leaving all these children with me. Yeah. And I would have been. <laughs> I would have been upset. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was something else. Two of them had to wear my other daughter's clothes because they were left there in pajamas. So we went in the suitcase and got some of Rachel's clothes for, for, for them to wear. And, um... Little boy had on some some Batman pajama pants, so we just put on a nice little T-shirt with that, you know. <laughs> I mean, but jeez. Yeah, I just set it off too. <laughs> I'd have had to. <clears throat> I've been forced. We've been forced. Forced to been set it forced. off. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the that was the ugly. But other than that, everything I'm telling you, it's really been great. It's really been great. This this is the year that I've spent more time 
around more of my family members. And I'm really loving it. I guess that, that's the good part then. I'm really loving it because for so mm. many years, all of us have been so spread out, not just in different okay. states, but different countries. And I mean, everybody's always been spread out. And this year, we have seen mostly everybody. And then at the wedding, we saw almost all of us. We were all there. Everybody really did show up and come and support my brother. You know, all of our family members, the people who had been out of the country, the people who were far away, everybody came and we all came days in advance and stayed days later so that we could all spend time with each other. So um, this whole year, I've been seeing a lot more of my family face to face. And I really do. I enjoyed that. I miss them all so much. You know, I was kind of concerned about how I would look to them because they hadn't physically seen me in so many years. And I'd gained some weight and got white hairs, you know, all of that stuff. I'm looking older. But shoot, I looked at some of them. I'm like, well, damn, hey, y'all. <laughs> 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 so I was all right. <laughs> I did that. I, I was having a conversation with um I'm trying to think who I was talking to. It might have been my god sister, but I was saying how I'll see pictures, especially like on Facebook, and I'll see people I went to school with, and then I'll be looking at them and I'll be like, oh. And then I'll say, do, do they look at me like that? Because now I see. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I say, what the fuck is that? <laughs> but, it's, but it's not like that drastic. I mean, I've seen people when I see them and and it's not just, you know, sometimes I'm given that and sometimes I'm just like, who? <laughs> You're like, that motherfucker ain't got no teeth. You know, shit missing. You know, it's real shock and it, it takes you aback. And I say, I wonder if people ever look at me and say, Oh, that motherfucker done fell down. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think it was my god sister I was talking to about that. And see, she's actually 10 years older than me. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she still looks like she did, you know, when I was in high school. She still looks the same. So, mm -hmm. but that's kind of how my family kind of does. They don't, the girl, it's the girls. The girls really age well. Because my grandmother's 90 and she still looks like, it's like she just got her free bus pass a couple of years back. Okay, all right. Yeah, the girls age well, and then the boys all die. I that's why I said, "Say," I said, "I ain't with it." Damn. That's why I said, "I'm I was I'm glad that I got more in common with the girls, Daddy. I'm still here, cause them boys don't be hanging on too long. <laughs> they be falling off. Well, no, we don't want you to fall off. You hang on. I ain't going together. nowhere, y'all. I got to, I got too many uh too many of the girl chromosomes. That's half of the problem with me and the family. But that's all right. It's keeping me here. So let them suffer. Let them eat cake. <laughs> <coughs> that's another video for another time, though. Ain't it, it is. I got. <laughs> and make that the title. Let them eat cake. <laughs> let them eat cake, honey. Yeah, and I'll say real quickly. Okay, so you know there's like some family members, and this is off topic, but whatever, and I'm gonna have to do a video about this. But there's like family members that, you know, we wasn't good. And then I got sick, and then they bust out with the, you know how they did, real fake, self-serving. And I was like, mm-hmm. And I'm still, you know, full of cancer and still mean as hell. And no. evil. There's one person in particular, we hadn't spoken at all all year from like the beginning of the year. And she called and I was in one of my bags and she says, uh, oh yes, I was just calling. And I said, don't go buy the cake yet. I'm not dead yet and I'm not going you know, anywhere. Heard... Your cake will mold while you're waiting on me to die. So don't throw the party yet. And then I hung up the phone. Yeah, child. Um, I ain't for no foolishness. Ooh. I said, live every day like it's the last. So why am I going to stress myself out, child? Hurt your damn feelings. How do you better go on playing games with me? Just playing. Mm. But again, another video for another time. I got that. 
earlier when I did the video about doing Jumpstart January, and somebody said, "Tell us more family stories." I feel <laughs> your pain. I ain't in pain, child. Designating some pain, but I ain't in no pain. Honey. I'm trying to stay child away left. from the family stories. Did y'all hear banjo yeah. music? Banjo music. Yeah. It's probably over your rails house. <laughs> oh wait. No? Ain't nobody putting music over here. Playing the band <laughs> Are you over there playing the band jam? I don't know what you playing with this making noise. I'm not doing anything. Uh, okay. All right. Whatever, James. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I know the get of you had clicked on. Uh, is she on is right she? now? Yeah, I I let her in, but I don't. I don't know she just went on, went on in. Nika, where are you at, girl? What are you doing? Hey, I can't see you guys now. I can only hear audio. Can you see me? We can yeah. see you. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, what do I do to get you back? It says well, you might have to. You might have to come out of your seat and then. I see your real name. Wait, you know how you do the um refresh. You might have to refresh. Okay. And then that'll make you. You have to get back in your seat, but there should be um. It should be up in your left corner. Right. Where it says like reload your page. Oh, there she is. All right. Let's try to get her back in here. Okay, we gotta open this seat. It's open. Oh, it's open. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Here uh, she goes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You put those in the kitchen. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Is that better? Yes, I can see both of you now. I thought I saw the interview. Did I need to come in? She was coming in and then it kind of dropped her out. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Is my square too dark? Should I turn some light on or can you all see me? I mean, we can see you, but I mean, you can turn some light on. <laughs> I like being in the dark. <laughs> but if it's better for you with the light on, I'll turn the light on. You do what you do. All right. But you don't have to accommodate me over here. Somebody wants to say hello. Hey, okay. James, are y'all right? Hey, I knew that's who it was. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. How, you How are you? I'm fine. I'm good. Girl, I'm y'all did that tree. I'm trying to get that, that tree, and y'all did that tree. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she did it all herself. I was no help. <laughs> Well, it's looking real good back there. Thank you. I was trying to, you know, me and my baby girl made these decorations. I got some pine cones and okay. these berries to them. Very cool. And that's what I use for Very ornaments cool. on this. She froze. The tree. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it'll. We're frozen. Yep, you might have to refresh again. I had to do it the other night. It was taking me yes. through. What is going on with Nika? I don't Anderson. know. She's still out there. Okay. So yeah, we took um, pine cones and tied the berries to it to make ornaments. And since we don't like candy canes, I hot glued hooks to peppermint patties. And we put those on the okay. too. Uh, that works for me. Yeah, might as well be <clears> something we like, cause you know how I, you know how bad it is to eat a stale candy cane. <laughs> Child, they're chewy. That's why people don't even realize that when you get a candy cane and you bite it and it's actually chewy, mm -hmm. that shit ain't no good. That's no good. <laughs> it's no good. It's not supposed to be chewy. It's supposed to crunch. It is not supposed to be chewy. It's not peppermint gum. Right. And then, uh, okay, but, 
Yeah, yeah. Then I was taking these bees. I know this is uh, every bit of, I think it's 40 feet of pearls that I got, that I draped the tree with. And it's like after the first three rows, you got to stop and sit down. And you yes, got to indeed. Do it again. And Miss Thing didn't help, but she was pointing. That's crooked. <laughs> That's crooked. <laughs> that was my job. <laughs> I have a position in certain things, and that's my position to point out the crooked things or the things that she's missing. Hey, that sounds like my mother. Her, her position is to, to tell you the food's wrong, but she can't cook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what she just left. My mother, when y'all seen her in the background, she was shopping in my kitchen. That's what had happened. Oh. She's in there shopping. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna let y'all know. I do there not miss go. those days. Of twinkle, twinkle. Tree. Oh, let's have you don't miss my oh, decorating tree. Here. Hell no, I do she not miss that. Shit. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry. That's the only holiday that I actually decorate for. I decorate for how for Christmas. I love Christmas. Thank you. It's the only one that I decorate for. Oh, I mean, okay. the crazy thing is like, 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 if I go home to see my mom, like, okay, uh, Costco card goes up my wallet. We'll put it in so you don't. Doing damn well. I celebrate the holiday. Where's y'all around? Can but you, you celebrate Hanukkah, though, right? Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so with Hanukkah, I know it goes on for several days, but there's decorations that actually goes along with it, correct? <laughs> I'm about to say the only decoration okay, is the menorah. Up the That's okay. And all it is okay, is the light of life for each day, say the prayer. That's it. Now I'm trying to look at these comments now. I was and I rolled, I scrolled the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see your real? Mm -hmm. Can you see him, James? Uh-huh. Yeah. I can't see him or hear him. Who me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Everybody don't everybody didn't love what you shot at. Whoever's the one happy <laughs> IP address waxed you out. Uh, you said not everybody's in love with me. That is a lie. Everyone's in love with me. <laughs> you said everybody's in love with Everybody. You. Just Nika. Just Lady Nika. I'm, I'm about to say, again, do you not see this beautiful smile here? How can, uh, how here can you go. not love this? How can here you we go. Here we go. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Ronnie right, says she thinks your smile is beautiful. Jay. Jay. Keep... <laughs> All right. <laughs> so don't oh. feed the animals, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you think they're friendly, but I they bite. Friendly. <laughs> So I mean I I mean I do, but you don't have to tell them my business. Okay, child, that ain't no business. That's a small arrangement. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, Mark. I wonder what happened to Lady Tanika. Well, I don't, know. She, I don't know. Is she at work? Maybe. I don't I don't think so. It is and I don't there? have her on tech. Like I don't have her uh no, true. And that's terrible because you know we're both January night mm -hmm. babies, and I don't have her on um in my cell phone. I only got that. I only got her Twitter. Oh, look at Tishy. Because I don't know, I don't see her still in the room no. either. Wait, Aww. <laughs> you better leave me alone. <laughs> you can't do anything. You're on camera. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> let's move. What's the next thing? We can come back when she okay. gets in. Okay, well, I guess it's time to talk about the bad of uh, 2015, which is supposed to be slightly better than the ugly. So, the uh, yeah, the bad. Oh, did I get? I thought I gave the bad. What did I give? The ugly? That was the ugly. Oh, ooh. yeah, that was ugly. You was at, you was acting ugly at the wedding. <laughs> that you definitely. <laughs> that was the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> they were ugly to me. Okay. They were. I didn't say it wasn't warranted. <laughs> Sometimes you got to let them have it. 
Yeah, so that was the ugly then. All right, well, I, the bad for me, I've already, like, talked about, but I'll talk about it again. Ah, the issue with me, Papa. That thing, because, uh, like I said, I didn't talk to him for the whole two years I was in Korea. I fucking refused. I was just like, I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I get home, and like I said, I mean, I'm bombarded by everybody. Like, are you going to call him? Are you going to call him? No. And <clears throat> then I'm having to hear everybody give their opinions about it. You know, wait, wait a minute. I think that might, I think we might have her. All right, well, <clears throat> yeah. all right, I've been trying to log in for a long past time. Okay, well, we're glad we got you. <clears throat> well, let me rush through this so we can let her talk about the ugly moment for her in 2015. But, um, yeah, it was just dealing. <clears throat> Like dealing with that because like I said I didn't talk to him. Everybody's like, "Are you gonna call him?" And uh, uh, my father's sister had passed away of uh, cancer and had a funeral. And I'm like, "Well, sorry, but I'm not going <clears throat> for multiple reasons. One being, I did not want to interact with him, and I don't want everybody in ah oh, she's off again. But I don't want everybody in my business as to why he and I are not talking because honestly, it's nobody's business. But ours. Come to find out, my father's going to everybody else." telling them why his version of why we're not talking and <clears throat> ain't said shit to me but and then uh, actually before i left <clears throat> i found out like my uh, oldest brother was just like you know what i'm gonna just bring daddy over here and force y'all to talk and then my middle brother was just like i'm mad you fucking said that because that's exactly what the fuck i was gonna do tomorrow i just want to go fucking tell him i'm like <laughs> Really? <laughs> so y'all just trying to set a motherfucker up like yeah, how was like, this? Man. But it's just like y'all are too invested in our fucking relationship and there's no need. And I keep telling them y'all keep y'all only know his side. Y'all have never once asked me, y'all real, what happened between you and daddy? Never once fucking asked me. They still haven't asked me. So, you know, rewind about a good two months ago, I decided to call them, you know. I gave in. I'm like, you know, but I was drunk too, so I'm gonna blame that one on the alcohol. Oh, I, I, I was drunk. Sorry. I, I was drunk. And I'm like, you know what? I'll be nice. I'll call him. Cause my thing is if I'm going to call him, it needs to be on my terms. So I call him against everything in me. And he's just like, Yeah, Red, I know you hate me. I'm just like, I don't hate you. I love you. It's just there have been some disrespectful things. I'm just like, because like I said, the last time we talked, you cussed me out like I'm a random dude on the street. He was like, oh, I don't remember that. Convenient. You don't remember. And I reassured him, like, dude, I don't hate you. It's just I'm tired of being the only one constantly calling, visiting the whole night. Once he knew, once he knew, selective memory, exactly, that he had me back in. Okay, well, I'm tired. I got to go to bed. We was on the phone, and the, honestly, we only have too many conversations. That's always how it is with him, and it's convenient that as soon as you know you got me back, you want to cut me off after five minutes, but you've been telling everybody who will fucking listen to you that your son, your, your second-to-last baby boy is not calling you, yet when I call you, you can't make time to talk to me. So it's like I open myself up yet again for the fucking okie-doke. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Look, I've only got one sister, and I love her so much. But we're at the place where, you know what? I'm never closing the door. The door's always open. But it's her turn to walk through. Yeah. I'm not going to continue to come to you, especially when I'm not the offender in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, and this has been going for years. And it's not just with me. It's with our other family members, too, or the ones who won't chuck out any money to us. That might be key, too. Um, <laughs> but, it, you know, it's ridiculous. I mean, how many people can you fall out with before you realize that it's you? So even, you know, the last couple of times, you know, I really bit that bullet 
you know, and my mom is telling me, well, you know, you need to talk to her. And I said, well, you need to talk to her too, because y'all not speaking right now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I try, but I'm just, you know, at this point, you know, I'm not going to say I'm cutting her off, but it's she, the door is open, but she's going to have to come knocking for me. I'm not going again. That's it. I totally understand. I totally yeah. understand. All right, get off you. Come on, guys, and stop getting kicked off, dang it. It's better this time. Look, I, I had to get, I had to get on something else to try to get on. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Okay, so we. Got it's been a long morning. Take her back, cause she has to do her dive. Yeah. Ugly. All right, well, <clears throat> well, I uh, get off you. Go ahead and tell us, like, what was what was the ugliest thing of 2015 for you because we've already shared ours and I just shared my bad but you got to share your ugly my ugly yeah. I really ain't had no ugly now I've had some bad shit happen okay well then, <laughs> but I ain't really had no ugly run off some bad. because I don't deal with um now because okay this past month me and my mom kind of like stop talking so that was kind of bad and only because i just i'm at the point of my life where regardless of what kind of family it is mama daddy grandmama i don't give a damn i don't have time for the negativity so i just cut it cut their ass off you piss me off once it's i'm not going in 2016 with that shit. she pissed me off and i was like mama and all bye see you later so that was like my only bad like my worst thing that happened this year is just me and my mom like basically stopped talking because I don't have time. That Capricorn. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm real quick. I, I'll cut them off real quick. I don't get down. What's so crazy is <laughs> me and James and actually me, James, Squeak, Sean, like a group of us on a conference call talking about the same exact thing. Because I asked him, has anybody seen that video that I did? And they was just like, yeah. And, you know, I guess we all agree it's the Capricorn in us where it's just like, if you do us wrong, chop, chop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I I, ha I wasn't raised by my mom. Um, I was basically raised by my grandmother. So I'm at the point, like, you didn't teach me to be a woman. So cutting you off ain't a problem. <laughs> like. I'm cool. I love her. She my mom. She gave birth, but I don't have to, I, I, I don't like parents that make you feel like because I feel like you're the mom. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to my mom, I feel like you're the fucking mom. She'd be like, you don't call me. You don't reach out to me. You don't do for you. Don't help me out. And I'm like, who the fuck is the parent? I ain't got time for that. <laughs> and I don't. I just don't have time for it. That's like, her Capricorn. Do you see it? I had <laughs> for Christmas. And, and, you know, text her, you know, a nice text message for Christmas. And she sent me a text message back saying, well, don't nobody do for me. And I do for everybody. I said, goodbye. Goodbye. Like, I don't have time. I got kids. I'm day mama. So that was like the worst thing. I ain't going in 2016 with that bullshit. I that. <laughs> How are these pretty bubbles of everybody's faces coming up? I cut them <laughs> off. I cut off a lot of family members in 2015. Put the uh, put your cursor over the hands and click it. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I cut off a lot of people before 2015. They was cut off years ago. Let everybody tell it, <clears throat> I'm the evilest motherfucker in my damn family. But that's okay. That's okay, because I be the evil motherfucker, but I guarantee you my ass sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> guarantee your ass mm, now. Yeah. Like, I, I, they think because I live in Vegas that I'm balling. I, I'm just doing the damn thing. I'm sitting there like, did I miss some shit? Like, Vegas is like everybody else sees <laughs> But they are call me when they want to hook up and say, "Oh, you got some concert tickets? You know what promoter can get me in free?" No, hell no. 
<clears throat> hell to the I know I raised the school to go. Okay, so I guess since yes. that is your worst, we need one more for a bad. Because you can't, you can't. Well, she said she didn't have an ugly. She okay. said she didn't have an ugly. Okay, right. right. And look, we're going to take the bad and make that ugly. But we need one more. One more. Because, oh, these damn fucking people that the sub, because they don't be subscribers. I can't even call them supporters. These people that feel like we don't have an opinion as YouTubers. Like, they get on our damn thing in our comments and feel like, we don't have an opinion or we can't give our opinion. I've had so much of that shit this year that I'm like, <clears throat> ain't this my channel? Like, I don't have, about but y'all know me. I don't got time for that. Yeah, I don't have time for that. What, boy? Yeah. <clears throat> but I really don't have bad because I deal with it. I, when I see negativity coming my way, I, I block that shit out. I ain't got time for that. I got you. I got you. <clears throat> All right. Well, I've given my bad. She doesn't have, I guess, another bad. So. <laughs> um, my bad. Well, I got, you know what? <clears throat> I'll give you a condensed version, but my bad. And it, it's terrible because it's just like this little forum. It's a family thing too. Um, the beginning of the year, <clears throat> I actually I have a cousin that I was really, really, that I was really close with. And I used to do a lot for, her. but again, my Capricorn kicked up in my ass and I decided, you know what? I don't want to do, you know, more because that's, again, that's another Capricorn thing. I just decided I was done with it because the treatment wasn't always that great from her. So I just cut her off and I didn't mess with her for about a year and a half or so. And then, you know, it got to a point where we, it was like, hello, goodbye. And that's, you know, that's cool. For me. I wouldn't do all the things that I used to do for her. So um, she basically had a really big party for her 50th, she turned 50. So it was this really huge party. And of course, everybody in the neighborhood was there. Everybody in the family was there. Um, I didn't get invited at first. The invitations actually went out like three months before the party. I wasn't invited. I got an invitation over a text message three oh. weeks before the party, which was kind of like a, it was just ridiculous. But it was, uh, it's actually held at our our family, not our family, but our, our city casino. That was a big deal. It was in the ballroom. But I vlogged and everything um, about me going to the <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> 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 I vlogged um, with you guys about the um, the whole experience of me getting dressed and all of that. And I had decided, um, and I never do this. Y'all know that I do female person, but I never do. I never go out dressed. Mm -hmm. I just perform. But for whatever reason, I decided I was going to go dress. Everybody in the family, everybody in the neighborhood knows that I dress up. So it was no real big deal. But I got dressed. And I went, and it was no big deal. It was literally just an outfit choice, as far as I was concerned. So I went on and I went to the party. And a little after, well, so a couple of things went on at the party that I didn't even know about. About three weeks after the party, I um, was made aware that my cousin and her brother and her mother were unhappy with me. And I was literally drug from that point. I've just been drugged like all year, all the way up until we got to, to the cancer thing. The cancer thing is when the dragging stopped, but it didn't matter. Like nobody cared. Like I didn't care, but it was, I was being talked about really, really bad, but nobody was admitting to talking about me. You know how that shit goes. Family, foolishness. So that was kind of the bad, but then I did, come back because I, I did this video 
you know, about how nice everything was and how the party was so great and this, that, the other. And I felt so stupid because I was just ranting and raving about how lovely this party was. And meanwhile, Facebook ended up blowing up about me and, and I was, it was that I was disrespectful to even show up like that. And I was this and I was that. And, and like I had, like me getting dressed in drag had something to do with her and had nothing to do with her. It was an outfit choice. And the thing is, why is it such a big deal for me to wear my drag, but her and her daughter wear my shit all the time? Mm. You make it make sense to me. I didn't understand it. You, it's it's not a problem for you to wear my drag, but it's okay for it's okay for you to wear my drag, but it's not okay for me to wear my drag. I'm the bitch that bought it. So whatever. But that was the big thing. Nobody from the neighborhood had nothing bad to say. Nobody at the party had nothing to say. People wanted to take pictures with me and stuff, and everything was cool. But members of my family are the ones that actually had issues. Well, three members of my family had issues, but never would admit, and still to this day won't admit to having an issue with it. Foolishness. So that was basically the bad. But you know, <clears throat> you know, I went back and did another video. <laughs> That's right. People have to, yeah, hell yeah. You go on Facebook. <laughs> You got 20, 30 people in the neighborhood you done call and talk shit about me. Watch this. I got 4,000 people that I can talk shit to. And oh. I went right on and I said, this is what really happened when y'all, I vlogged. I was mistaken. This is what really happened. And you know our subscribers ain't got no chill. No. <laughs> and what they really thought. Yeah, they went back and they said what they really thought, and I ain't gonna get to it. But the comments got very interesting. It went from "Oh, that's so nice" to "Well, I really didn't like her dress, and I really didn't care for you know." It was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. I can use it any way I try to use it. I didn't lie. All I did was told the truth. But I did feel really, really silly posting <laughs> how the, how great of a time I had, how beautiful this party was, and then the next thing I know, I look around. And my ass was being drugged. And it was only the fact that I didn't look a mess. That was that was the big thing. Because it wasn't about no comment. I don't try to come to compete with nobody. That's all yeah. foolishness. There was no leeway to say, oh, he looked a mess or he looked like a man, or you couldn't do any of that. So they couldn't lean on that. So they had to take it somewhere else. I didn't understand the big deal. What the fuck? Tennis shoes, pumps, what's the difference? It's still that same evil black motherfucker. <laughs> you know? I mean, I'm, the, I'm the same. I'm not, you know, it was foolishness, but I did get to talk to my cousin and tell, and I told her, I said, you know, if you were unhappy about anything, all you had to do is say you were unhappy, you didn't like how I was dressed, and I would have left your party. I would have actually left. She said, oh, no, 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 I didn't have a problem with your motherfucking lie, bitch, you did. But that's okay. If you don't want to admit it, that's fine. But the truth of the matter is, that was in January. That was the last week of January. I've not been invited to anything else that the family has given <laughs> since then. And today is December 31st. So did they have a problem or did they have a problem? Are, are you mad? Been are waiting? you mad that you haven't been invited to anything? Not the fuck at all. Not at all. I thought it was kind of funny. I really did. I thought it was funny. Especially when I didn't get invited to the Halloween party. I said... They ain't fucking around at all. They said, we don't know what the fuck we <laughs> We didn't fucking what you want to okay, <laughs> No, I right. thought it was actually pretty funny. So the day you're allowed I to think it's funny. they said no. Yeah, they said, oh, fuck no, we are. Mm -mm. <laughs> what, you going to come as an alien motherfucker? No, uh, we're not <laughs> fucking with you. So <laughs> this, that was the that was the bad. The bad was that my family, they kind of showed themselves. And we're not like distant cousins. I'm talking cousins, cousins. My mother and my cousin's mother are first cousins. They are actually, they're my cousins. You know, it's not no joke about how close we are as family. Grew up together and everything. But y'all, y'all punks. It is what it is. And then, okay, and I'm going to say this and then I'm leaving it alone. You know, I've done, like, you know, once I was dealing with cancer and all that, you know, I had performed in months. 
I've been off. And then I went back and I performed for the first time um, this month in December. My cousin was, uh, I wanted to come to, wanted to come to the show. I know good fucking well you don't want to come to a drag show. <laughs> Family, <clears throat> you explain it. I can't explain it. I, it this doesn't make any sense. It's ridiculous. But my Capricorn kicks up in my ass and I don't give a good goddamn. Oh. I don't give a damn. I'll wear whatever I want to wear. If I feel like a pump, I'll put it on. If I feel, I feel like a tennis shoe, I'll put that bitch on too. I don't worry about it. I got to be me. <laughs> <clears throat> So right quick, hey, I ain't got no invitations to no family functions. That's it. It's a wrap. They ain't fucking with me. They ain't taking no chances. So right quick, I just want to let everybody know <clears throat> who is watching that this video, this blab, when we're all said and done, is ghetto views. So she'll be uploaded to her channel. It won't be on mine. It'll be on hers. So for anybody that missed it, y'all just let everybody know that she's uploading. Got ahead of you. So I want to throw that out there. And you know what we're tweeting all that. We'll. We'll tweet it. We'll help you get it out. <laughs> so when it's done recording, we'll have, we'll it on Facebook and make sure my family gets to see it. Get the shit started all over again. <laughs> I know somebody to send my mama the video. I don't give a damn. Oh, no, no, no. That's the Capricorn kicking up and yeah, that's what I told you. That's that Capricorn. Y'all have to stop with all this guts. I'm in it. I'm gonna buy a shirt and say I'm a Capricorn. I don't give a damn. Exactly. Okay, look, we get done. We gotta talk about Capricorn tendencies when we're done oh. with the good, the bad, and the ugly. But just read my book. It's your turn. Sit, wait, you said you didn't. Yeah, you got a bad, right? Somewhat. Thought, maybe? Okay, so I gave ugly. I thought the ugly was bad. Um, well, well, give us some bad then. Is she there? I can't see. What's the bad? Bad, 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 bad. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, you know what? I lost a couple of contracts. I, I work from home and I also do, I do a lot of freelance work. And I also I subcontract for a couple of companies. And there was some, I wasn't getting that much from some from one of the companies yeah. I subcontract for. Yeah. So I went on to do something else, but I still kept them on just in case, you know, they had something to come through. Well, I finally had to make a decision. I had to choose because there was a company that was actually going to be a company that I worked for, not freelance, not subcontract, and I was actually going to work for that company. And they had a training period. And that was really cutting into everything else that I was doing, but they seemed more stable. So I had to actually, I had to officially terminate, you know, my contracts with the other people. So that I would have time to do this training for this company. And they got rid of me two days before the training period was over. And I'm saying, but I thought I was supposed to be able to go for the training first. You haven't even given me my last two days for training. Wow. And I had just officially let my other stuff go. So that well, left me at Zero, yeah, it's bad, and I was real upset. And you know what? I said I will do a video and call all your names out. I'll call out your company, your subsidiaries. I'll tell everybody. But then I thought to myself, now see, that's just being ugly because other people don't need to be affected by my experience, you know. Yeah. So I I left that alone. But th that was bad. That yeah, was, that was bad. bad. I know my eyes. Every time somebody fool with your money, honey, that's bad. Yeah. I ain't got time for that. Mm. Right, get your I'm telling you, my mom and my kids and my money, get your hurt. All right. That's yeah. good. <laughs> I was, I'm, oh, that really did something to me. And I've never been in that position before. I mean, you know, I come from a time when, you know, if you didn't like your job, you didn't have to go get one before you quit that. Well, you could quit your job and go down the street and get another job. These days, mm -mm. you you know, people are scuffling and scrambling for jobs. You got, look, you got people that, people. <laughs> you got people out here with master's degrees, you know, fighting each other for, for manager at Dollar General. Yeah. 
okay and that is true talk so you you know you just can't you know you just can't let things go like that and i i was i, I was really really upset so that was pretty bad to me and i did try to go back and because i feel like no matter what i always make a good clean break so I figured because I have been so loyal with this one company and I've been doing subcontracting for them for six years. And the okay. reason why I had to leave them is because they just didn't have enough to keep me going. And I was still going to stay with them. But their what they did have was did, uh, um, didn't coincide with the hours that I needed for the other company for the training. So I felt like well, so because I've been loyal to them and they love my work and I made a clean break with them, I should be able to go back. <laughs> they, oof, they acted like I wasn't worthy of a phone call. She sent me an email. <laughs> it looked like a generic email, like what you send, you know, just a blanket email. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, it was because you couldn't even reply to it. <laughs> so I'm like, well, that's wow. what you all think of me. You know, I mean, it was something. So yeah, that, that was my bad. I made it better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she made it better. Well, I guess we make it to the good then. So I have four goods. Like I said, I mean, because not a whole lot to spend a lot of time about. But <clears throat> when I was talking about my first, my last six months in Korea, I did get facility rated in a uh, radar facility. So happy about that. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Thank you <sir>. <laughs> <laughs> um, upon leaving Korea, I got the uh, Army Accommodation Medal, which is typically not given to E5s, but with the work that I put in for two years, I damn sure uh, earned that. Got a 1-1 uh, one, one on my last evaluation, and that was only a four-month period, so that was great. And I think uh, the happiest that I was this year, reaching 1,000 subscribers, is because of uh, the gentleman to my right, James. It's because of you. <clears throat> like I said, you, it was that last shout out that you did that, you know, helped your brother out. So reach 1,000 tea spillers, you know, it was, a, it, was, it was a good time. So those are my four big, uh, oh, I guess we could say good moments for 2015. So your turn, James. That make people think that I actually like you. I don't like him for real. I just was shouting because I just didn't have nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah, I ain't another. I ain't had another goddamn thing to do that day. I have nothing else to talk about. So I said, talk about him. No, I'm like, no, don't make me spit out, but they're big now. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I adore him. Um, the good. Let's see. Good for me was. Okay, see, I'm going back into that's like the only two things that happened to me all year. Got cut off from family, and that was good. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, answer, the good thing that actually happened is that I, I kind of already, you know how you, you think you know something, but then you really don't know until you really know. And the support system that I actually have through YouTube, that was like the best thing that has happened like literally all year um it's just ridiculous i can't even begin to tell you to support that's how i got through all that stuff i mean hundreds upon hundreds of emails of prayers and good wishes and things of that nature then I, they told me go and get a p.o box and i'm like okay no problem that p.o box ain't never been dry there's always something there's cards or i've gotten letters um i've gotten i got a care package that had candy and i mean people did a lot <laughs> to, you know what i mean and i didn't get that from my family when i tell you that little that i laugh and i joke about the little family involvement thing but i have to tell you literally my family my my mother received one phone call throughout my whole five months battling back and forth with cancer from one family member that lives across town that asked her how was she feeling and how was she doing and that kind of thing. That's it. And my family's huge, huge. Um, so it, it literally, I got more support. And there were people like, like 
there are some people that, you know, they visited and different things like that. But my mass support came from YouTube. It literally came from YouTube. The well wishes from people who have never actually set eyes on me in person, face to face. So I've always said, family is what you make it. <clears throat> you have relations that you share the same blood with, but family is what you make it. And I have a whole family on YouTube. And when I say that, I mean that. I mean that shit. That shit is that shit is real, and it really got real. Yeah, I used to. You know, you always hear me say, "Shit just got real in the field." Well, in July, shit for me got real in the field. Okay, I saw who was there. All the motherfuckers running up in here. Oh, I need my hair done. Oh, I need to have a dress made. And don't nobody know one thing. And all that kind of stuff. My relations. And when shit got ugly, they still had their goddamn hands out. I had people wanting to borrow my car. I had people trying to come to eat. And I said, I ain't even working. Who the fuck said I had something to cook? <laughs> Who said that I had a car? Who said the company ain't come get it? Nobody called to see if you could make the note. And I was floored with, I mean, you'd be surprised at the questions I've got. And I made some videos and I got some more shit to come. Pay attention in January. Jumpstart January, I'm going to spill it all. But yeah. <laughs> you got any payments? Can I get some payments from you? James. You and then what the fuck am I supposed to do? James, I call him $10 a tablet. <laughs> James, you can't be stealing my, my job now. I, I got it. You spill it, boy. I'm spilling all the tea, but you can't be stealing my job. I'll, t I'll email you some of my shit you can talk about. You run out of shit to talk about. I'll email you some of my shit. Let you spill some of it. Don't get tired of hearing my voice. But yeah, but it's been the good thing in 2015. I actually have seen that it really is possible for people to care for you and care about you that are not related to you and it's a shame it really is sad to actually find that and me and my mother have actually talked about that it's crazy you all have really hell if i was hanging on to my family i wouldn't even have to fucking bother just say i'm fucking i'm tapping out i'm cashing in my chips and leaving the casino but no there's this over four thousand people that said oh no you better get your ass up and turn that camera on <laughs> and that's how I got through. And I appreciate it. I do. When I say I love y'all, I love each and every last one of y'all's ass. You see, I'm still sitting here, Annie. I ain't going no goddamn where. <laughs> and that's it. Mm. <laughs> Don't get no better than that. Just read my book. Your turn. Good. A lot of good. Uh, again, uh, I got to th this year, I was able to see so much more of my family face to face several times this year, because like I said before, we've all lived far away, different states, different countries, everything. And um, this year, I've been able to to travel, they've traveled. Uh, we're all, you know, pretty much all of us in, in the States again. And I'm just glad to be able to see everybody. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's looking good. You know, um, I, I I love that. That that is real good for me. That I I appreciate being able to have that so much. Um, for every issue that there is with family, there is good when you can love and embrace your family as well. Because I I have both. You know, I got issues with some, but still. For the mm -hmm. most part, I am so pleased. I'm so happy that we've all been able to do that. And um, I mean, it's just good to, to, to talk and hear, you know, different stories and reminisce and all of that and see everybody's faces. You know, some might have an extra line or an extra white hair or whatever, but everybody's doing well. Everybody's happy, healthy. Um, they're doing the things that they want to do at this point in their life. Because, you know, again, we everybody gets older. There's no no discounting that everyone gets older. But as we've all aged, we're actually pretty much doing what we sh strive to do. Um, there's a lot of us that have retired. 
There's some who are doing the things. They're really living out what they plan for their lives. And everybody doesn't get to say that, that you're actually living what you plan. That's true. That's your older years, you know. And so everybody is just happy. They're doing what they want to do. You know, got good marriages. Their children are healthy, wealthy, and wise. You know, everything that you that, that you want to see being done. And I've got both of my daughters with me because for for 11 years, this one here, my baby girl, who's been my baby girl forever, uh, she she had moved to Arizona, you know, and so she was she was going, and it's just too hot to be there. Oh Lord, <laughs> Arizona, and then you know, in in in, Houston, in uh, Sugarland, Texas, and she's here now. She's back, and I'm glad to have her. I have her and my other daughter, so it's good to be under the same roof and look at both of my girls every day. And know that they're alive and healthy. You know, there's been a couple of health issues, some challenges, and, and that's even better now. You know, my baby, I guess that's another video, is her story that if she mm. wants to tell it, but she's had two hip replacements, you know, one just a couple of months ago. And I'm glad that she can run and play and do what she wants to do and, you know, walk. Okay. You don't take for granted, you know, especially when you're young. You don't you don't think about not being able to walk. Now, what young person has the issue talking about they got a bad hip? That's for old folks, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, I got two bad knees and I've been cut open already, so I'm just. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. that's for old folks. They even take you like act like you you threw a shoe. You know what they do to horses when they throw a shoe? They take you out to the back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't letting the baby go out in the back, but that's no. a bad question. <laughs> No, ma'am. The only way she's going out in the back is if the front door is broke. She's going right. out in the back. <laughs> That's right. So I got my two girls here with me. They're healthy and they're happy. And I, I love it. Even when they get on my nerves, I just, I'm glad I can hear their voice and lay my eyes on their face every day. I know that's right. Oh, all the time. No, I don't. Yes, you all the time. <laughs> See, but still. <laughs> I'm an angel. Don't let her fool you, James. I'm an angel. I don't get on her nerves. I tell lies, so I'm gonna tell you. I <laughs> you. <laughs> I said, no way. Cause I sure thought she's going to give you this, honey. <laughs> said, yeah, I'm glad to have her home. <laughs> <laughs> what are you say to give her clack? <laughs> exactly. Now, don't you start about that, the art of slapping folks, child. <laughs> I love it. If you all have not seen the video that she did on it. the art of slapping the shit out of folks, <laughs> <laughs> I took that video and I had to, I told my mother, I said, girl, look at this, honey, look at it, look at it. <laughs> You talking about somebody tickled? Ain't nothing like slapping them. Somebody slap the mm. shit out of them, honey. Hey. Fast, <laughs> Child, I love it. Sometimes my slap a whole sense is it, tingling. They be tingling sometimes. That's it. You ain't live <laughs> until you give somebody a five figure discount. Pow! That's right. Tear their ass down. It's an art form. <clears throat> okay, we'll catch get them up. all off guard. Get them hey. your turn. Um, the good. I have a a good 2000. I mean, it wasn't the best, but I had a good 2015 because, you know, Ashley Miller had sent me to the Billboard Awards this year, and I felt like shit. I was one of the celebrities. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, hey. so I mean, oh, but hey. 2015 like gave me some really really cool subscribers gave me really co co cool youtube family because a lot of people think because i talked to ashley and the scorpion that i'm hard to talk to or some shit and i'll be like man so when i get like just read my book and s underscore hutchinson them talk to me i'll be y'all don't know i'll be pumped up and i'll be kind of mad when all y'all be leaving me the hell out leaving you out of what because i'll be like Damn family too. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you got what? Nobody leave her out of nothing. She got a social schedule that can't nobody <laughs> match. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh huh. <laughs> Shut it all down. She's, all, she's hanging out with the stars and carrying on, and she's always at premier parties. And now, that's who I need to be sitting my drag Hey, hey, that be late. My premier <laughs> party be late at night. <laughs> Vegas, you know Vegas. Nice shit. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna get my yeah, I mean I went to the blackout. That was a highlight for me. That was a real highlight to me because I was like, I didn't expect people to say, Oh, can I take a picture with you? I was going to see everybody else. So the yeah. blackout was a big highlight. And um just you know, just reaching out to people, YouTubers and saying, do this with me, and they say, Okay, that that'd be awesome to me. Just interacting with my subscribers be awesome to me. I love it. I mean, like I told y'all, y'all my family way more than my family. I agree. <laughs> I can come over here. I, I can come on YouTube and just be myself. Yeah. And y'all gonna like me, cut me out, and all the other mm -hmm. shit. And I be with it. Now, my, my family members in the world they can come and check me on none of my YouTube things and think they will get the same response like I give y'all. <laughs> Hell no. I block it. Oh, I'm sorry y'all. My son keep talking to me. Stop talking. <laughs> but yeah. This is oh, I met a lot of like really elevated on the music scene here in vegas this year so i was really excited about that because i'm not really an outgoing person when it comes to the nightlife i can go to the club and sit there with a drink the one drink the whole damn night and enjoy myself but this time i've been really really getting to know a lot of people so that's awesome to me. Like just to see people come to me and say thank you for my for supporting me mm. be my highlight. You're always something. Yeah, I did. Something. <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't go to the huh? Blackout, but yeah, uh, I was looking forward of supporting to supporting people to and the then one seeing that coming up people. And they like that? when I support people's music and yeah. when I see their music take off. I I love that. Mm. That'd be my highlight for what I do. Well, right quick, I'm glad you joined us for this because I mean, you damn yeah. sure threw my name out in one of your videos talking about some we didn't have you on here. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, she'll let you have it now. But it got, uh, me, absolutely. But it got me on here. I'm, All you had to do was got me on I'm, here. Look, look, look. What people <laughs> didn't realize is the one we did for Christmas. James can, can attest, that was a last minute thing. I was like, you know what, let's do something that we can just upload on YouTube. We're gonna be cooking and cleaning and everything else for Christmas, so they can just watch us cut up for whatever the duration was. And, and like, literally, it was last minute. That shit was not planned. So when yeah. I was thinking of doing this, of course, your name popped smooth the fuck in my head, because I don't like- It was the friends. first name. <laughs> don't make me a bully. I didn't know you had bullied him, honey, but it was the first name. <laughs> but girl got to do what a girl got to do. He's bullyable, girl. Don't worry about it. Just duke him out, honey, and get what you want. <laughs>